In Game Get Creative, you can control how um, scores are determined in your game and how leaderboards, leaderboards track information. So if I go under Map Options and go over to Score, I can see that I have the option to use a leaderboard. What type of score? Um, right now I have it set to amount of a specific item, so I could pick any kind of item and have players try to collect that item throughout the game to score more points on the leaderboard. Um, I could also go set my score by knockouts, um, but I'm interested in this property option. So properties in GimKit Creative are really just places to store data, whether it's text or numeric data. Um, it's just like a, a container to store that data. And we can actually take this property option and you'll notice I already put in a name of a property here called Cool Stuff. Very creative. Um, we can actually use property to update our leaderboards based on a number of different factors, not just um, number of knockouts or number of a specific item collected. So property can help us um, increase our score in our game um, from a number of different factors. So let's look at how we would do that. I'm going to start by going in and grabbing a property device and placing that down. And then when I go in to customize that, I want to use the same name that I had in that leaderboard property area, cool stuff. I'm going to change my property type to number because the leaderboard can only track numbers. It can't track text. Uh, we're going to start at zero. Uh, the property scope is going to apply to everyone in the game. Um, and now we need a way to change that property or to make this, the property number go up. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this counter because when you open the counter, you'll see that we have a property tab. So when the counter value changes, we can actually update a property. Um, and we're going to say the property that we're going to update is cool stuff because that's the one that we just set up and that's the one that's mapped to our leaderboard. So now anything that we can send to this counter, we can also update our property with. And anything we can update this property with can be tracked on our leaderboard. So because the counter can um, be made to go up from lots of different things, that means that we're not limited to just one thing on our leaderboard to track. So let's try out a couple different options. Um, we'll see that I have this zone set up, and when the player enters the zone, we transmit a signal on the give blue key channel. And on our counter, we have that we're gonna increment our counter to go up when we receive that blue, give blue key channel signal. I also have it set up over here on our sentry. Um, when a sentry is knocked out, we transmit that give blue key signal. So in theory, all of these different actions should increase our counter, which should increase our properties, and then be tracked on the leaderboard. So let's try that out. So we're going to go unblock our zone. And get our blue key, which makes our counter go up one. So in theory, because that uh, is mapped to our property, our leaderboard should be at one, which it is. Okay, now let's try our sentry. Oh, I guess I should have given myself something to kill the sentry with. All right, let's try that again. We're going to get our blue key, make our counter go up one. Now we have a zapper. Our leaderboard is at one because the counter went up one. And go ahead and zap the sentry down. And we knocked out the sentry. It made our counter go up two. And now our leaderboard is at two. So our leaderboard, cool stuff that I did, very interesting and creative name, um, is tracking multiple things and giving us points on the leaderboard for multiple actions in the game.